Kwangu ni siku kubwa sana mheshimiwa rais. Najua kwamba umekuja kushukuru Mungu lakini mimi pia nashukuru Mungu sana. Sana. Kukona umeketi hapa kama rais wa taifa la Kenya ni muujiza mkubwa na jina la Mungu libarikiwe. Na nitarudi ya mheshimiwa rais ni muujiza. Mwaka uliopita yuko mtu alikuja kaniambia kwamba rafiki yako Ruto asipokuwa rais utafuta nje nyingine. Na kwa pamoja tu tulikubali kwamba ni vizuri kutafuta nje nyingine lakini mimi nikasema nitaitafuta taifa la Kenya tu kwa sababu nilikuwa na uhakika I was extremely sure your excellence kwamba Mungu atakupa ushindi. Na nashukuru Mungu kwamba nimeyasema haya wakati governor wetu wameingia. Kwa sababu yapo mambo niliyoyasema mbele yake wakati huo. Kabla sijajua kwamba hatafanyika rafiki Mheshimiwa Zaidi Chanda Mungu amekupa nehema na kibari Na pia nashukuru sana Mungu kwa ajili yako na kwa ajili ya best man wako Mheshimiwa Silvanos Osoro Maana kwenye hii safari mmefanya kazi pamoja Kwa sababu Mheshimiwa Rais nimeona umekuja na Biblia Japo wewe tu ndio nimekuona na Biblia hapo mbele. Ni vizuri tufungue tu mimi na wewe. Na naamini kwamba next time wanafunzi wako wataanza kuiga mfano wako naamini hivyo kitabu cha nehemaya mbili mstari wa ishirini. tafadhali wa kristo wenzangu kama una biblia yako pia unaweza ukaifungua I answer them by saying the God of heaven will give us success. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 20. I answer them by saying the God of heaven will give us success. We his servants We will start the building but as for you you have no share in Jerusalem or any claim or historic right to do it. Ni wakati wa kujenga tena taifa la Kenya. Na vile Sheikh amesema tunalijenga kwa umoja na kwa pamoja. Chini ya uongozi wa Mheshimiwa Rais Nemaya ilikuwa ni wakati ukuta wa Yerusalemu ulikuwa umeanguka na ikawa amepokea mahagizo kutoka kwa Mungu aende kujenga lakini wakatokea watu wawili mmoja anaitwa Tobaya mwingine anaitwa Sanabalat wakamwambia haiwezekani wakasema haiwezekani lakini niruhusu tu nitumie slogan ya asmio inawezekana <laughs> yani mimi tangu mwaka wa 2013 nimeamini siku zote kama mheshimiwa rais ukiwa kwenye kiti yako mambo makubwa yatafanyika kwa taifa la Kenya 
na inawezekana inawezekana ule ukuta wa Yerusalemu ulikuwepo hawali lakini ulikuwa umeanguka inasungumzia state ya taifa la Kenya inachukua mtu anayempenda Mungu na anayemfahamu Mungu na anayetumia akili za kimbingu kujenga tena ukuta uliopomoka Rebuilding Naamini sana kwenye miuchizo mheshimiwa rais Naamini kwenye miuchiza mikubwa na mo, moja wapo ya miuchiza ninayoiamini ni kwamba taifa la Kenya litakuwa mbele sana. Ikiwa wewe ndiwe rais wa taifa la Kenya. Maana hakukua na ishara hata moja. Hakukua na ishara. Hata mimi nilikuwa nimeogopa wakati nimwambia mheshimiwa governor mwaka uliopita kwamba Mheshimiwa Gavana tuko na wewe lakini kwa upande wa rais mimi niko na Mheshimiwa William Ruto nilikuwa na watu kama 10000. Chioni hiyo ndio nikatemberewa na mtu akaniambia wewe Ruto asipokuwa rais utavuta nchi nyingine nikamwambia nazoa nchi moja tu ya Kenya. Kwa sababu nilijua kabisa kwamba Mheshimiwa Rais utakuwa rais na kwa mikono yako Mungu atawapatia wa Kenya ushindi usio kwa wa kawaida. Na nimepata nafasi ni kuambia kwamba taifa la Kenya litakwenda mbali. Nimesikia habari nyingi ho dola hiko hivi dola hiko vile lakini taifa la Kenya linakwenda mbali. Narudia kama nabii taifa la Kenya linakwenda mbali. Kama kuna mtu wa kumshangilia Yesu nasema taifa la Kenya Haleluya. Ukiona hata maaskofu wamesimama hilo limetibidhishwa kwamba tunakwenda mbali. Kwa kumalizia mheshimiwa rais. Mwanzo 41 mstari wa 16. Kwa kumalizia kabisa. Ana mheshimiwa Osora anaenda kusimaili. Si mheshimiwa akwe pasta tu. E, kuna siku alinitembelea kanisani akaimba kama si ati tulichofanya wagumu tungeanguka Inasungumza habari za Yusufu na mfalme aitwaye Farao Mwanzo 41:16 Farao alipewa habari ya Yusufu kwamba yuko mtu ana capacity Napenda sana stari mheshimiwa Mandua anasikiliza. That's good. Uwe cha chimeo wetu. Hiyo stari ni nzuri mheshimiwa. Naongea mambo ya capacity. Farao akasikia yuko mtu gerasani. Yuko mtu kwenye mahangaiko lakini hakuna capacity. Wakati mwingine Mungu ana overlook mahangaiko akiangalia capacity yako. Yuko mtu akona capacity ya kuinterpret akamwita Yusufu akamwambia niliota lakini nataka unisaidie maana sifahamu wala kuelewa nilichokiota Yusufu akamwambia farao kwa kweli sitaweza lakini yuko Mungu mbinguni na atampatia farao maana ya ndoto yake Siku zote nimesikia mheshimiwa daktari William Ruto akisema yuko Mungu mbinguni. Naomba hata kama utasahau kingine useme yuko Mungu mbinguni. Jamani sema tena yuko Mungu mbinguni. Patia itachi la moyo wako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa sababu nimeona 
Mheshimiwa Ngoe kwa mara ya kwanza tangu ayo gavana Kisi atawahi andika mafungo ya Biblia. Nimeona akishughulika. Sijui kama amepokea wokofu. Hakuna siku niliwahi kuona ukiandika. Ni kama mtu ukitoka uongozi unakuwa unakuwa judge elder. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tafadhali watu wa Mungu wanyari wa chache na wageni wetu. Yuko Mungu mbinguni. Mheshimiwa Rais na wageni wote mtakaporudi. Mkumbuke hadithi hii. Mimi napenda kuochi wanyama kwenye runinga. Napenda kuochi wanyama sana kwenye runinga. Lakini siku moja nikaona mnyama mmoja ndofu na sichui alikuwa amezunguka wapi lakini mwenye kamera halichukua vizuri kwenye mguu wake kulikuwa na na kidonda na huyo ndofu niliyemuona hapo kwenye kidonda wapo wadudu wanaendelea kujitafutia chakula kwenye kidonda lakini pia yeye ako kwenye malisho Akubis. Sasa mimi nikachiuliza mbona mbona ndofu asiki uchungu. Kumbe kuna wa, kuna saisi ya ya mnyama hata akiwa na kidonda hana habari. Saisi ya mnyama. Nikamuona yule ndofu ako kwenye focus. Maana anatafuta chakula. Tafadhali mheshimiwa rais tafutia wa Kenya chakula. Mungu wako ni mkubwa kwa hicho kidonda. Usiangalie chini. Hata chicho chini. Mimi ninakutazama yale uliyoyapitia hata hapa. Kuna siku moja miaka ya nyuma nilikuwa niende kwa kwa mkutano wako. Lakini huku fanikia kuingia kwa stadium. Kwa hiyo tukakuja daraja mbili. Na mheshimiwa Mwenye Nyangesu. Nilikuwa nimeanza kukufuata lakini ni tabu tu lakini tunafumilia tukienda mbele. <laughs> Tunaenda mbele tu. Tumeangalia yale mahangaiko, matatizo, lakini nakuomba kwa sababu Kenya inafaa kwenda mbele. Usiangalie wadudu. Hata kama kuna kakidonda, mguu wako ni mkubwa for you to recognize that there is a good. Kwangu na kama nabii na kuona kama ndofu mkubwa ambaye anafaa kufocus kusibisha tumbo la wakenya kuhakikisha wakenya wanaishi maisha mazuri na anajua kwa uongozi wako inawezekana watu wa Mungu wa taifa la Kenya neno kwa mikono tu wale tunao muombea mheshimiwa rais na mheshimiwa Said Chanda wawe na afya nzuri na maisha marefu jamani nishasikia shangwe na vigaragare hata kama mimi si mwanasiasa tuko kwenye ibada Mungu abariki viongozi wetu. Mungu abariki nyarbari chache. Mungu abariki taifa la Kenya kwa china la baba, la mwana na roho mtakatifu. Watu watu waseme amen. Nitaomba mkutano mzima usimame wakati Reverend Nyamwange anapokuja kutuongoza kwenye hombi hili. Na najua baadaye Mheshimiwa Osoro ataimba na, na wale kundi aichawa rais. Ah si kwa nimekupanga lakini ni kwa razma. Asante sana. Asante sana pia. Mheshimiwa wetu wa West Mugranga amenifurahia sana Mheshimiwa Steve. Mungu akubariki sana. Uh, let's bow down for the word of prayer. Our Father and King of all glory. Ancient of times. You who he is from the beginning to the end, your understanding is from the end to the beginning. We are gathered here, King of all glory, during this, thanks, uh, this, this uh, giving thanks service. And thank you because of the word that you deposited in the heart of your servant. Our hearts are receptive. Our ears are open to this word. King of glory, we pray that you may follow it and establish it. For in Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen.
Thank you. We may resume our seats. I promised in the beginning that our service is not going to disappoint. Tunaendelea kufurahia ibada yetu. Mungu ketaba kusie nembise. Bwana asifiwe. Karibu sana mheshimiwa our governor. Uh, you feel most welcome. Uh, we want to move on to another item that is going to be intercessory. Uh, we have four items that we are going to present to the Lord. And I will ask the following to come and help us pray for the items that we are going to present before the Lord. Tunaenda kuombea vipengele vine kwa sababu ya wakati na hizo zingine zote tumeziombea tayari. Ningetaka kumuuliza Askov Peter Ontita, Askov Julius Osongo, Bishop Felix Nyariki and Pastor Joas Magati to come close. Uh, Bishop Ontita is going to lead us in a thanksgiving prayer. Of course, that is our theme today, giving thanks to the Lord. And then uh, uh, Bishop Julius Onzongo will lead us to praying for national and county government. I love Ututamualika, Skov Felix, 